First of all, uh, I thank you all actually um, to let us, you know, be able to actually be here because um, this is an ultimate honor, and uh, I really hope a lot of them uh, are actually proud of us right now because we're working really, really hard uh, to get here. But we are still nowhere yet. Uh, we still have a lot to do, and that's what we are about to do. Uh, we would like to make them proud. And uh, for, for us, for me, it is actually the most important thing uh, to make Hungary people uh, proud. Not because of me, but because of our beautiful country. Thank you. Question from international press, anyone? Please stand up and raise your hand, it's much easier because this place is crowded now. No one? Okay, great. We'll do this one. It's time to pick where you're going to be the final. You show it to the camera.
Here we go. The first off and oh. the final. Congratulations once again. Nina, Cestita, congratulations. I'm surprised? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, the favorites from the start. Uh, I'm a little bit in shock right now. Um, because in, even in Croatia there were mixed uh, emotions. Some of them unfortunately wanted us to fail. So this is for them. Really because... us to go to the finals because we weren't there for seven years and I did my job and I'm proud of my team, I'm proud of my country, I'm proud of everybody who was supporting us and voting for us. Thank you so much uh, from my heart, really, thank you. Do you have any local press from Croatia, from Zagreb? Well, everybody's waiting to be flags, so it's difficult to see. Over there, at the back, in the blue, on the balcony, Hi. the lady in the blue there. Can we have a microphone to her? Or... Thank you very, very much. So... Uh, welcome, Nina. Uh, I'm Emilia Giacometti from Amazon Hive. Uh, first, congratulate. You don't know how my heart is now beating. <laughs> My also. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you also don't know that on our Facebook page, uh, your video now has almost 300 likes, maybe more. Oh. And uh, my question is, did you feel so pressure since we didn't, we weren't in the final since 2009? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of pressure, not only because of that, but because of everything. You probably know because you. You experienced the things that were happening uh, inside, uh, and this is a big project. And uh, like my neighbor Hungary, in everything we share the rooms together, um, and we share always the same number, you know, with everything. So we were laughing. Also, Mr. And Mr. Ineska, so we were laughing at this, you know, really awesome. Um, he also told that um, he gave everything he had. Uh, you really, when you're uh, presenting your own country, you not you're not presenting yourself. You know, you're presenting so much more, and it's a big honor and a big responsibility. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Press for Croatia. Lady there, stand up, please. Get a microphone. Hello, many of the Novorods, Belgrade, Serbia, daily newspapers, Kuri. Nina, congratulations. You, you said that you are surprised uh, about uh, your country in final, but uh, are you surprised uh, for Montenegro and Bosnia and Herzegovina didn't make it to the final? Well, that's a tricky question. Uh, well, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, God, this is hard to answer. I don't know, you know, we thought because uh, Bosnia has a really good um, foundation here in Sweden and, you know, in the world, uh, I was thinking that they will actually go to the finals, um, but obviously I'm surprised even because of me and because of them. You never know what will, you know, what will happen, so I'm, I'm surprised, yeah, I have to say, but you like I said, like it's really it's really hard to say something about other countries. You want everyone to go, you know, because I know uh, I'm pretty sure that we did the best that we can. Everybody, every one of us, because you're leaving everything you had on that stage, everything, like literally everything. So, yeah, thank you.
few in Stockholm? I'm afraid so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. Perfect. Good feeling on stage? Oh, uh, great. I, 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 didn't, I didn't feel like I was performing for 150 million people. Was it? The thing that happened with the 10 seconds, was it accepted? I mean, did you like it? Was the reaction positive? Oh, man. The people were screaming. It was, it was, it was all, I, all I hoped for. Do we have Yoko from AMV? Yeah. Are you? Yoko Chan. Yes. Microphone there? Yeah, hon. Tawa, congratulations. Thank you. Um, you've always said your only goal here would be to win. Of course, that was some of your charming bluff, but now you did make it to the final. How are you going to make sure to bring this trophy to Amsterdam? Well, I think I can, I can speak for all of us here at the table if we say, if I say that we've, we've all come here with one, with one goal and one aim, and that is to bring home the trophy, right guys? That is, right? So, this, I'm going to do all I can, you know, right? Which is very hard to, for me to say <laughs> since every, everyone's sitting next to me, you know? Every, Every, everyone's here, but to say, well, you know, it's just, I think, I think we've, we've got a strong song, and I think, uh, I do believe in the less is more, uh, the less is more uh, thing we do. Yeah. Great. Gentlemen here, in the white t-shirt, please. Hi, Laura. Congratulations. Hey. Thank you for coming to be in Europe and Canada. Um, a lot of your friends and family are here already. But yeah. Who's the first one you're gonna call or text in the Netherlands? First, I want to call or text probably my uh, my best friend uh, Chankito, which I grew up with, and he's a uh, he's a big uh, ballet dancer in uh, Holland. And that's that's my best best friend. So I'll. I'll Definitely call him first. You you haven't called him yet. I haven't. What are you going to say? I've 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 actually been been, been called by a, by a few uh, TV stations. So I I didn't I didn't have the time yet. But I but I will. Congratulations to make the Netherlands proud. Thanks, buddy. There we go, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Groen. <laughs> <laughs> First half. First half. From Dower. From Netherlands. Now, Iveta, Armenia. <laughs> what were your first words when you saw and heard your name? You know, honestly, honestly. You know, I honestly tell you one thing. You always dream about the situation and then suddenly you appear in it and then it's reality. And of course, you know, the feedback was so amazing and everybody was like, oh, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna slay for the same part. But still, when you sit there, she I, was like, I was so shocked. But so when they called out the name uh, and the, the country, Armenia, I was so happy. And I really, really wanted use this chance and say thank you to all the Swedish production team, to all the Eurovision organizers. Please clap for them because they made this all happen. Camera, light, sound, production, everything. You know, they're so passionate about, about the whole job. Like if they wouldn't be, we wouldn't have this performance. So I'm really, really thankful. It, the whole thing was just too short and I would like to be long on stage. This is the thing that I felt after the three minutes. Let's go with local press Armenia. Yes, please, stand up for it. Have a microphone here. Hi, I represent Armenia website News I'm Style. Congratulations to all the participants on passing to the final. And of course, Iveta, thanks for making us so proud of you. Iveta, what do you, do you feel right now? And did you expect such kind of support from the fans of the contest from the beginning when everything started? You know, I never take something for granted, and I think it's a privilege that I'm allowed to live and feel right now. So I really, really don't want to stress in any situation because I really want to 
you know, when I'm, when I'm getting old, one day, <laughs> I really want to remember, I won't, thank you so much. <laughs> He's so nice to me, I don't know why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I really want to remember the whole thing. This is a situation in my life, you know, that is unforgettable. So I really want to enjoy every second. And I'm so thankful for all the voters who voted for me and for each one of us because they did it with so much passion and with so much love. So I'm really, really thankful and I really don't take this everything for granted. So I'm really thankful for everything. Thank you. For your name, International Press. Yvette. Hi. The I'm Dominic from Swedish newspaper Aftonbladet. The flag of my daughter Karnabach is one of the most politically charged flags of Europe. Why did you choose to raise that flag in the green room today? You know, thanks for the question. I was expecting this question to be honest. You know, you don't have to forget that I'm representing my country and my heart, my thoughts, my feelings and my whole emotions. Even though 150 million people are watching, my thoughts are with my motherland. And I, all I want to call out, to spread, is that please, I just want peace on borders. Armenia wants just peace. And this is why I wrote this song. I just want to spread love waves. I wrote this song exactly because this is what's going on inside of me. I just want to have peace everywhere. I'm living in Germany and I'm Armenian and you know, I'm international. I grew up like this. So all I want is peace and just spread the love wave. And that's why I put up the flag. I really want to Now we will fix that probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, now. No, it's fine, fine. Your sport. Happy face. <laughs> Thank you very much, Iveta. <laughs> Sergey! Well, yes, <laughs> but I'm happy that uh, we got to the final, I'm really happy and uh, the show was amazing, I was nervous a little bit to be honest, uh, but now I'm so happy. <laughs> Logo? Yes, please. Lady here in the front. Give the volunteers a round of applause please because they're working so hard in the I'm from Russian newspaper, from Smolenska Pravda. I'm so happy to see Sergei and uh, his dream team, Filip um, Gergorov, uh, in the uh, final. Um, and I have a question that I know a lot of European people think that uh, Russia is a very, very cold country. That's why I want to ask you to maybe to <laughs> try to say that it's not so true. Uh, to maybe to advertise them our country. A cold country? Yes! Well, no, I mean. Sochi is not that cold. Well, I, yeah, Sochi is not that cold now. It's warm, really warm. <laughs> so, uh, well, actually, uh, Russia is a beautiful country, big country, and I'm, uh, it's a big honor to represent this huge, amazing country. And uh, you have to visit our country for sure. Uh, I don't know who's going to win this year, but you have to go there and see yourself. Uh, you see, uh, you will see how we have uh, hospitality, we have, like a lot of good people and the music culture, a uh, good place to visit. Uh, so please come and you will see that we are great people and uh, the country is so great. And you must, you must come. You must come and see May St. Petersburg White Nights. It's yeah. amazing White Nights in St. Petersburg. Welcome. Hello, here we are. International Press. In the pink t-shirt. Over here, stand up please. You know, 
actually, uh, hello, my name is Mike, I'm from Ukraine and uh, channel call 24. Actually, I want to continue that question, you know, like, uh, you're one of the favorites of this year's show, and it seems to be you can bring the Eurovision back to Moscow as it's happened, as it happened in 2009. And you know, the majority of the Eurovision audience is like uh, part of LGBT community, and you know, People are afraid of coming uh, to Russia because it's like so hard to, uh, to be uh, as you are in another country. So, uh, what is like, uh, uh, like, is it safe for them to come, like, for the Eurovision next year, for example? Like, like, what is your attitude for like being gay or lesbian? And like, uh, and could you like, uh, um, could it like? Uh, could like lesbians and gays coming to Russia like uh, prevent developing um, uh, uh, your, your sure. country spirit? I, I understand the question. Thank you very much. I think it's a very important question because I. I uh, received a lot of questions like that uh, during my interviews and uh, of course, uh, there, uh, yeah, I can tell you that a lot of rumors and talks about uh, uh, LGBT uh, uh, problems in Russia, it's talks and rumors, so uh, gay life exists in Russia, it's not uh, a secret for you, I think. So, uh, we have, uh, we are modern country, uh, all, con all the cities has uh, gay lives, uh, we have gay clubs, you can check it in the, in the Google, you will see how many gay clubs and restaurants we have. So, uh, I think, but, but, I think if uh, Gay Revolution will come to Russia, I think it will be very supportive for gay community in Russia. Uh, and uh, also, I think uh, that um, you have to, uh, like I told you before, you have to come and see. Every year, uh, I mean, a lot of um, good, uh, big events uh, happening in Russia. Uh, we hosted uh, Olympic Games 20, uh, two years ago in Sochi, and it was amazing. Uh, and a lot, uh, a lot of uh, different people come to, came to Russia, uh, to Sochi, and uh, the different uh, nationalities or even sexual orientations people, and uh, they had a great time there, they had uh, fun, and there was no problem there. We had, uh, we hosted Eurovision in 2009, and it was also so good. And everybody came there, uh, like, have, had fun, and for sure it will happen again if uh, Russia wins, I don't know, I, don't, I can't predict the future, uh, so uh, I'm just praying for that with uh, all Russians, because ra all Russians really, really love Eurovision, and uh, it's true, it's true, we, we really want to host it, if you ask me, yes, ah. it's true, and uh, we do our best for our guests, for sure, and you, you can feel, feel, you can feel safe, in our country. If we do something, we do it in our best way. To be in our own way. We promise you from the bottom of our hearts. Yes. Thank you very, very much to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and sorry for my English. I hope, I, I hope that you understand. I just what I wanted to say. Thank you. Here we go. Please, it would be nice and don't throw remarks left and right. It would be very, very nice. Thank you. Here we go. Gabriela, Czech Republic! Czech Republic! Finally, so we say that? Very first time. <laughs> How does it feel? Tell us. Oh, it's, it's an honor, it's a pleasure, it's exciting, I'm going to say. I'm really happy 
my delegation is happy. I think my country is really happy because this is a, I've got to say, it's a historic moment right now for our country. We've never been in the grand final in history. So uh, it's, it's amazing. And I'm so happy that. Okay, who, who will have it? She, the ladies, of course. Thank you. Microphone? She's standing here. There we go. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, first time in the final. Is it a big responsibility for you now? Uh, I gotta say, it is a big responsibility basically since the beginning. Uh, but I got great support of my team, uh, Czech delegation. Uh, I got a great support from the Swedish team. And I just feel safe with these guys because we had a great idea to create something beautiful that maybe Europe is going to like. And I think we, we made it. And it's just an honor, really, to, to be here and enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Gentleman in the back there in the blue t shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations Thank on you. this historic event on Michal Speck, Hospodarska uh, Novini, Slovakia. So, <laughs> uh, so, what do you think? I mean, will this huge success of yours change the perception the Czech people or the Slovak people have of Eurovision? Do you think that they will start you in Eurovision with more interest and, you know, less stereotypes based on the past? Uh, I think one of our targets to come to Eurovision Song Contest is basically for my delegation of Czech television. Uh, they started last year when they, after five years, came back to the Eurovision Song Contest to compete. And since we're we were made this this year. One of our targets were that was that we wanted to make Eurovision Song Contest um, just get it more into our country, get the reality of how amazing project it is, how amazing competition it is, because there's no any other competition on planet Earth that celebrating art as your original song contest, we got all the games, but we have no competition in music, which is amazing. And I loved what Bjorn said. It's amazing that we got something to compete with what's going on in Europe and in the world that's just getting us, you know, emotionally happy, something that's really make us be happy in our lives, and that's what music, that's what music does. So I want even my country to better understand what is this about, what is the first purpose of this competition. And I think because now we're in the grand final, they will get more reality about it because they're going to watch it. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Just behind you, there it goes. There. 
Congratulations. Uh, can you talk in the microphone, please? Congratulations to you and to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say uh, first congratulations. Uh, all the island is very happy that you finally uh, make it to the final. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is uh, since uh, 81, uh, Cyprus is trying to win the contest, but we never made it. Uh, do you believe that um, you have the power this year to win the contest in the island? Well, we have the power to play a powerful song. Uh, what people think about that is going to show me that. Uh, I really don't know how this is going to go, but uh, what I know is that we worked very hard and we want to thank Thomas Giesen very much and, uh, and our delegation uh, for being so supportive and all the people that showed a lot of love to us in Cyprus and all over the world actually because we got messages from various countries that we never had before. But, uh, so, thank you all very much. Good evening. Uh, congratulations to everybody. Well done. Uh, congratulations, especially to you. Uh, my question is: uh, Now that you have qualified, what is what would be your message to the artists that did not qualify this night? What would you say to them? My God, you know, if we're not in their shoes. I don't know what they could be feeling right now. I know I'd be bummed out, you know. Uh, but the, we, we were talking, you know, in the green room, and, and we said that even if we don't qualify, we, we were, this was the greatest thing that ever happened to us. Absolutely. So I, I, they absolutely had an amazing experience. That even you guys on that side don't know how we, you know, received all this love from everything. So they already had the time of their lives. It's sad that they can't, of course, go on to Saturday. Now, we became friends with a lot of them. So, so yeah, you just, you know, you see your friends feeling bad. And they already got, got a lot out of it. I'm sure that they'll, they'll go back home and they'll, they they'll be happy. They have projects. They'll be proud of them. There were so many amazing songs. It was hard for everybody to pass it. very scared because there were so many things that we were working on the last months for me the last years because I was in the national pre-selection last year as well so this is so big for me and it's so big for everybody and then when I went on stage I, I just felt the audience like living with me at the moment and it was beautiful and I was so happy I am still I am very happy <laughs> Gentlemen in the back, green and white. Back, back, back. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, so this is Sasha from the original I know you. Uh, yeah, I know you too. Uh, I was only with my voice, actually. I should shut up. But, okay, so. Um, uh, so the first uh, aim was after you won the national final to come into the final here in Stockholm. So you made it. Congratulations for Thank that. Thank you. How does it feel? Uh, I, 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 I don't realize it yet. For me, this is 
I mean for all of us, but it's for me right now it's so surreal and it's so big and I'm so happy that I get another three minutes that it's not over already because I really grew into loving every everything with your vision. So I'm so happy that I can spend more time with everybody. And I was very surprised and I was I was so I uh, no, 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 when the, you know, uh, I can't find the word, I'm sorry. You know, when you like, it, it was, the whole tension fell, and I was so, you relieved, yeah, relieved, I was relieved, that's the word. I was so relieved that it could go on, and yeah, very happy. Thank you so much. We are also happy to have you here. I know, obviously, yes, uh, you are a favorite, fan favorite here in Stockholm, so just enjoy it. Thank you so much, I will, right now, I will like drink everything. Gentlemen in the grey jacket in the front here, please, stand up. You will get a microphone. It's easier to find you that way. Hello, my name is Kamil, Russian TV channel Life News. Congratulations to all of you guys, you are amazing here. Und äh, ich möchte nach Österreich noch einmal gehen, aber es ist schwierig ah. heute. Aber ich wünsche Ihnen alles gut. Okay, okay. and the question is actually, so you are a young person. We have here Diva Iravosko that came for the second time. We have Philipp Jörg that tries to come here again and again. But our most important part is Did you understand this track of Eurovision? Will you come here again and again, 2020, 2025? What is the track of Eurovision, if you got it? I mean, I was, when I first really had my first contact with Eurovision, I think it was Amsterdam. And for the first time, I felt all the energy that people have, and I felt all the love. And right now, here in Stockholm, I feel it even more, so I, I, I get why you get addicted to all of this. And if Austria if, would like me to do this, on and on and on, I would do it every year, of course. <laughs> but, I mean, let's see how it's... But right now, I'm so happy that I'm already here. And yes, no, I have to do this. <laughs> Is, is, it, is it so important which half you are in? I mean, is it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the first half. It's first uh... No, it's the second. I think that's good, right? Yeah. Austria in the second half of the final. We continue with Azerbaijan. Sandra! Yeah. <laughs> are you? Actually, yeah. Has it sunk in that you're in the final? Yeah. Um, I will deny it tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> I will understand it tomorrow, maybe, but I'm so happy. I can't explain how I feel right now. I'm so happy and thank you for watching. Thank you. I want to thank every person who works for me and uh, you make me happy and I want you to be happier than me. Oh. Yeah. Local press from Azerbaijan, please stand up. You get a microphone. Thank you so much. First of all, my huge congratulations to Sandra, and I do believe and hope that you'll be the finals of this contest. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And the second, I want to take my stance on Armenian representatives' actions today. And let me tell you that Nagorno-Karabakh is an international part of Azerbaijan, and no country... Is that a question or a no. attitude? No country, no, no, please ask okay. the question. Ask the question. Okay. No country in the world recognizes Nagorno-Karabakh as an independent. So, where is it part, internationally recognized part of Azerbaijan? Flag of so-called Armenian Nagorno-Karabakh is completely contrary to the international legal norms and principles. And I am hoping I mean, this is a okay. political statement. Okay. It's and I value you and please respect that, that if you can. The Eurovision Song Contest Committee will take serious measures on this issue. Thank you so much. What was your question? Yeah. My question. Thank you very much.
one from my delegation. I was super calm, even today when I got on stage. Um, uh, but yes, obviously it was nerve-wracking. Um, uh, but it was exciting as well. I, I was really excited to be called out last. And um, obviously my heart goes out to the people who were left out of the semi-final because it was a great semi-final. There were a lot of great songs and great performers. and. You know, like uh, someone said before, like, like the Cypriots said before, um, we, we became so close. It was nice, you know, to have like actual friends in a competition. Because music isn't about competing, it's about unity. Thank you very much. A little bit of press for Mozart. Gentlemen there. Stand up, get a microphone. We are all happy to, uh, to get the news, thanks to the delegation as well. Our question is this, this is your second Eurovision, yes. but first in the final yeah. experience. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? Uh, the presenter just asked you being asked last, mm -hmm. but uh, actually we all know as well that uh, you just gave us a moment of the wonderful news that you are pregnant as well and you are, you will, you will be uh, giving okay, okay. more time. How, did, how was this experience? Well, it was a great experience from the get-go. Um, I was really happy to win the national final and um, obviously the semi-final, like I said before, was a very difficult one, but I'm so glad to be in the final now and obviously referring to your uh, comment about my pregnancy, I'm very happy to be sharing it with another person inside me. Hi Ira, congratulations. Thank you. And 
was yesterday actually. Uh, today I was State Media, media House, it's, like, it's ESC Extra. Com. So yesterday uh, there was an important statistic announced as Malta was the, voted as the top nation, considered the top nation in embracing gay rights and uh, also included as a, a very inclusive country. Yeah. And we know you you are directly involved in embracing gay rights and uh, against racism, etc. How would it be Malta if the country hosts Eurovision next year in 2017, welcoming everybody in the heart of the Mediterranean? What do you think about that? Well, I'm, I'm glad that the ranking places us first in the LGBTIQ community. I believe that our country has done a lot for their rights and I believe that we are a very, very friendly country. Um, I myself, on a personal note, am a very avid supporter. And yes, why not? If we hosted the Eurovision, I'm sure that all the gay fans would love it there and we could have a little Eurovision island. So. <laughs> Thursday, 9 o'clock, for the second semi-final of your...